In a heartwarming revelation during a new documentary of King and the Princess of Wales's special relationship, it is reportedly that they have attended privately to the opera together in several occasions through the years, and highlights the positive influence of Catherine on Charles. The monarch now is set to make his first public appearance since announcing his health and bravely attending a service on Easter Sunday without the Waleses. The firm may be depleted in numbers right now, but the public will understand the need for Princess Catherine to focus on her health above all else. The absence of Prince William's family during this time echoed the somber tone of the occasion. The king plans to spend quality time for the private and intimate Easter with his family, including his three beautiful grandchildren at the Sandringham estate. This decision was made in the context of the king's battle with cancer, causing the monarch to take a step back from public activities. To disclose Princess Catherine and King Charles' close bond recently in new post-royal correspondent, Richard Kay points that they both love music and art so much and revealing that Charles has been known to invite Catherine for performances at the Royal Opera House. They attend privately with no press, no formal engagement, just for the enjoyment. In the program, body language expert Judy James has explained the positive influence of Princess of Wales on King Charles. She says people have not acknowledged how Catherine has taken Charles under her wing. Judy James shared some examples of how Catherine has helped to make Charles more relatable. The moment she relied on Grandpa King to help her with Prince Louis at the Jubilee pageant. Or the sweet photo where Charles rests his head on William's shoulder, taken by her. And the family photo where she's holding baby Louis and he reached forward to tickle Charles's nose. In the last picture, Judy James points to Catherine. She doesn't draw Louis back. She knows Charles will enjoy it. It shows how well she knows him and how comfortable she was to add a playful touch to the setting for a formal portrait. All of these are natural and normal for most families, but unlike anything we had seen with Charles, said James. When Charles was treated and recovered at the Sandringham Estate in this country heart of Windsor Castle, amid prayers and hymns, the royal family, though, the darkness of illness looms. The light of hope still shines brighter, still leading them through the darkness towards brighter days than before. King Charles has expressed his pride in Princess Kath's courage in sharing her cancer diagnosis and remaining in close contact with her throughout her treatment. The Windsor family gathered to enjoy a sumptuous Easter roast dinner, including traditional roast lamb with vegetables. A sea of Easter eggs is the main dish, along with a simple salad, locally sourced cheese, and fruit to round out the tray before the clan's customary Easter dinner dessert. King Charles and Queen Camilla will take precautions by sitting apart from the congregation, to protect the monarch's health after service reports suggested that the monarch will forgo the Easter lunch reception and every private family gathering. Windsor was once a grand palace that has now quieted down, but amidst the quiet there is still a sense of solidarity and love shown by King Charles and Queen Camilla, who have always made an unwavering offer of support to the family during this difficult time. King Charles III has only been Britain's reigning monarch for 18 months, yet his funeral plans are already set amid his battle with pancreatic cancer. Named Operation Manai Bridge, the monarch's funeral processions will look similar to Queen Elizabeth II's ceremonies dubbed Operation London Bridge. It's a fairly common thing to do among the British royalty, but in Charles's case, expediency is necessary. Operation Manai Bridge is set to include familiar protocols.